Let's get last minute tax time tips now from Lisa Dietland, the president and CEO of Institute of Transformational Philanthropy, here to talk charity giving. And Lisa, is it too late to give to charity for deduction for the 2021 tax season? Yes. The short answer is yes, it is too late. Um, you can't make a deduction in 2022 that will count on your 2021 taxes. But what you can do is double check to make sure that all the donations you made in 2021 were received, especially those that might have been given at year end when the post office is a little bit busier, if you mailed it. And we know there have been challenges with the U.S. post office, as well as um, employees of nonprofits were working remote, just like the rest of us. So you want to make sure that those those donations you made in 2021 were actually captured and counted by the nonprofit organization. How can tax preparers get ready for charity deductions for 2022 and how much can you take as a deduction? Great questions. Um, to prepare, you know, my old um, saying, you know, make a charitable plan of action. We make plans of actions if we want to buy a house, if we want to change careers or jobs. Um, and yet we somehow forget to do that for those nonprofits that are important to us. So decide how much you want to give and where you want to give it and how you want to give it. That is a great place to start for your charitable plan of action. And the good news is, deduct up to 50% of your adjusted gross income, meaning your charitable donations can equal 50% of what your adjusted gross income is for most of us. Now, I always recommend, Angie, that people check with their tax preparer and advisor, their financial advisor, to make sure that they're getting all the credit they deserve for the charitable donations they make. How should taxpayers avoid any IRS red flags on charity deductions? Well, I say be honest. <laughs> make sure you're um, honest and that you have documentation. Um, that any donation over $250, you should be automatically automatically receiving a charitable receipt from that nonprofit organization. So if you didn't get it, you know, pick up the phone, call them, send an email and ask them to send you a charitable receipt. Also, you know, you might get flagged if, you know, a lot of our behavior changed during the pandemic. So perhaps you weren't a charitable person. Um, you didn't think much about charity and then the pandemic hit and you thought about it a lot. It might trigger you in the IRS, but it's not a reason to stop giving or be afraid of giving, especially if you have that documentation. Thank you for all of your tips, Lisa. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.